Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Sandeep Manan. Today I'm going to bring to your attention a few business and life lessons from one of the very influential author of our times, Darren Hardy. Darren is also the founder publisher of The Success Magazine and author of the famous book, The Compound Effect. If you don't read any other book in 2020, but only one, I would recommend this book because it can have powerful transformations in your overall life that includes spanning across the wealth, health, everything. So in this book, he has beautifully demonstrated that compounding can not only be applied to the wealth creation and finance, but it can be overall applied to transform you know, one's life. How everyday decisions and seemingly inconsequential steps can transform one's life if taken and practiced daily through actions. And that's what he has explained in this book. I will leave you with a couple of videos where Darren talks about the power of compounding and this whole the compound effect book. And uh, you can have few takeaways. And I'll also in the end of this video contains five key takeaways from this book, which can be helpful. But I would still recommend reading this book. So take a look. Now, how many have ever been to a personal development seminar or read a book or read the back of a CD program and it said transformational results in 90 days or less? And at the end of 90 days, you didn't have transformational results. Anybody have that experience? Yeah, me too. Well, what's wrong? What happened? Well, here's the reality. It is not what you know that determines the results in your life. See, that is a myth. Knowledge is not power. It is the potential of power, but it is not power in and of itself. Power is only created in what you do with what you know. Look, there are a lot of really smart people who are geniuses, who are broke because knowledge is not something you can take to the bank. It is only action that produces results. Success is, if you're looking for the answer of what caused these people to get on the cover of Success Magazine, success is a result of small, seemingly insignificant, moment-to-moment -moment choices. The only thing that separates them from you is that accumulated compound effect of those little choices that created dramatic differences in results. Small little choices like at lunch, you're given a menu. And what is the menu? It's just a series of choices, right? Do you pick the hamburger and fries or do you pick the salad? Now you're thinking, that doesn't seem like that big of a choice. I'm telling you, it is. Small little choices like at the end of a long hard day, do you stop by the gym and put in a workout or do you rush home to catch your favorite sitcom? Small little choices like in the heat of an argument with your spouse, do you walk out of the room and say, I'm not going to deal with this? Or do you spin on your heels, say you're sorry and choose to make a moment of magic? Small little choices like in a networking event, do you walk across the room and introduce yourself to that person? You're a little bit afraid to do so. Or do you hunker down in fear one more time? Small little choices like at the end of a long day, do you put in a few more phone calls or do you just simply call it a day? You see, these small choices add up to big gargantuan differences in results. Let me give you a, a, a reference point in which to associate this with. If I were to give you a choice of a single cent, a single penny that doubles every day for 31 days or a million euro in cash right now, how many people would take the million in euro? Okay, tough crowd. All right. <laughs> Let me sweeten the offer here a little bit. A single cent that doubles every day for 31 days or two million euro cash right here today. How many people take the two million in euro? Okay, a couple more converts. All right, last offer, okay? Penny that doubles every day for 31 days or three million in euro right now, right here today. How many people take the three million in euro? Okay. Well, let's say that you were paying attention and you said small things add up to big results. I better pick the small thing. There's a clue there. And let's say that you pick the penny, okay? But your neighbor, your neighbor at home pick the three million euro in cash. So now we're going to start proceeding in life. We get five days down the road and your measly penny 
is worth 16 cents, okay? While your neighbor has $3 million in cash and you can hear the parties going on next door, right? When you get 10 days down the road, your penny has become five euro and 12 cents. Not enough for a happy meal at McDonald's, right? But your neighbor is drinking champagne, eating caviar, having Robin Leach over for dinner, right? Now we get 20 days down the road and your penny is still 5,242 euro and they've got three million dollars in cash, three million euro in cash and partying like a rock star. It's not until we get to day 31 that we see the dramatic outcome of this compounding pity, where your penny is turned into 10 million, 737,000 against their paltry 3 million. Now, what you need to know about this is, this is the reason why Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Because the, the, the math between day one and day two is exactly the same math between day 30 and day 31. Nothing's different. You just see the compound effect of it. And this is why I'm telling you right now this morning, compound choices are the eighth wonder of the success world. Because the same choice you make between day one and day two is exactly the same simple, small, easy choice at day 30 to day 31. But the outcome of those choices are dramatically different. So here are five key takeaways uh, overall from the book that I captured, specifically for investing. And uh, so these are mental models you can apply to the process of investing and overall at, uh, for a lifestyle. The first one is small, small consistent steps. So small daily consistency is the core of compound effect. Like reading a, even 10 pages every day, it compounds immensely over a period of time, long periods of time. They are seemingly inconsequential and inconceivable to human minds in short term, but over long term, these small steps can build up. From investing point of view, this entails small and uh, small monthly amounts invested consistently and correctly can correctly when I say in the right uh, assets, you know, can really build wealth through power of compounding. So that is a graph. You can see uh, how a fixed uh, simple interest will work against a compound interest. Look at the exponential growth. So 80% of the action that comes uh, from the compounding happens in the last 20 percentage of time. And that's why staying through the longer periods of time, whatever that is, is very important. Even in, comp in wealth creation, compounding creates wealth. 80, 90 percent of your wealth is created in the last 10 to 20 percentage of the time. And that's precisely what the graph shows in the exponential nature of it. And precisely that's why it's not inconceivable to human minds um, because it is geometric progression. So that's very important to understand. But we need to still continue to have that small consistent steps on a daily basis, maintaining that discipline, which is the core. Now, the next uh, slide talks about other four takeaways from this uh, book and specifically with respect to investing. Second is choices makes us. So we make choices and choices makes us. Really choices we make daily, knowingly or involuntarily will determine the trajectory of our lives, which is so true. And that's what this mentioned in the book. The, so the first step to transformation is bringing awareness of what choices we are making on a daily basis than just sleepwalking into the choices. Most often we do most of the things on a daily basis involuntarily and we are so monotonized and used uh, to the stereotype life. You know, we don't even, we are not even aware of uh, our choices that we make. Whereas eating a chocolate a day and whatever that is, you know, those cho bad choices, we are not even aware of what we are doing. So in investing also, it applies to the principles like moving in and out of stocks, the trading behavior. If you're a long-term investor, there's nothing wrong in trading, but if you're a long-term investor, consist continuously moving in and out of the stocks will deter your portfolio returns over a long period. One, because of higher friction costs, taxes, and uh, getting another great idea is always difficult. So uh, letting that winner run over long periods of time is very important. And uh, so choices that we make are very uh, determined. Uh, de it determines the future trajectory of our life. Third is the ownership of responsibility. Whatever actions we take and we end up making mistakes or success, we need to own 100% of that because uh, and not blame on the 
environments like or on the entities like government or on luck and corporate so uh, the learning from our mistakes is very important at the same time owning those responsibility completely is very important so that's what the one chapter is dedicated in this book to it's a eye opener this particular chapter and uh, momentum uh, it's it's based on newton's first law of motion as per the author it's inertia the first law of motion inertia it talks about you know inertia is everything in investing as well so having that motion having that momentum uh, continue on high flying growth stocks in your portfolio is very important and uh, that's the key for compounding as charlie munger says the first rule of compounding is never interrupt it unnecessarily so uh, that is newton's first law of motion with uh, no outside forces a stationary object will never move but uh, uh, you know when a object is in motion it continues to move until something stops so never interrupt and stop that compounding uh, engine that you have and uh, the last takeaway is influence so you are what your closest circle of friends are or the uh, closest circle of people you mingle with daily as warren buffett says uh, tell me who your heroes are and i'll tell you how you will turn out to be so choose your circle and mentors wisely which is a very good takeaway from this book as well as for investing uh, if you really are in the mode of saving and investing higher amounts in the initial years to achieve financial freedom choose your mentors accordingly choose your social circle accordingly and you don't want to end up in a very high spending society and uh, you know get influenced by the nature of friends that you have so those are the five key takeaways uh, from an investing angle and those are the key mental models one can apply so thanks for staying with me hope this uh, book review was helpful and how we can apply in life do take the book and go through it's a great book to read